I'm totally blown away. We had over a hundred emails in the first day. And what I would thought I was gonna do today was come out here and actually just answer some of the questions that you all sent in about achieving your goals. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna pick out some of those key ones and give you some insights and hopefully this video is gonna help you to go ahead and get fast tracked on your goals. So Barry Haycock, Barry. Okay, the goal is nine handicap, 73 years old. Way to go, man, that's pretty impressive. Improve both green reading and lag putting. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab three golf balls, I'm gonna grab my putter out, and I wanna go ahead and take you through a drill that I do, which I think is extremely effective to get us out of thinking and start feeling a lot better. So let's go this way. Okay, so Barry, let's talk about green reading. What I see a lot of people do is I see them falling in love with the line. You know, they're focused so much of the time on the line, but like you said, I wanna get better at lag putting, length putting, how do I get pace? So the number one thing is, is to stop reading the green so much and start to focus on the pace. And what I've tended to see when I see people who struggle with length putting, right, lag putting as they call it, is they have this tendency to stare down at the ball, they're staring at the ball, and then they'll glance at the hole. And I got taught this by a coach in Colorado, I don't remember his name, but he said to me, and I say it a little different than he does, because I got this English accent, but why aren't you staring at the hole, staring at the hole, staring at the hole, and then glancing at the ball? Think of every other sport. I'm throwing a football, I'm throwing a baseball, I'm serving in tennis, every other sport, I'm bowling, whatever it is, I'm throwing darts. I'm focused on my target. What happens when we get into putting though, we start to get focused on our stroke and then we lose connection with the hole. One of the best putters I've ever seen, a uh, young man back at my club in England, Sam Houghton, I remember, he, he, this is how he used to putt, he'd be like this. And he would be looking at the hole nonstop and he'd make everything because his whole intention was out on the hole. So what's the best drill that you can do to make that happen? Well, let's just make it real simple. Let's just keep our eyes on the hole and look and react. And the beauty with this is if I'm eyes on the hole and look and react, I'm gonna start to become much more of a feel putter. Oh, don't. Oh, that would have been nice if that had gone in. But what, what you're gonna get here is you're gonna get out of your head and you're gonna get this feel of distance. And what I want you to do is go all over the green in different places, 50 foot putt downhill, 30 foot putt uphill, have three golf balls, have breaking left to right, breaking right to left, and try and change each one. Don't do, you know, don't hit three uphill from 30 feet and the next three from uphill 30 feet, change it around. So let's come this way, we're gonna have a little bit more of a left to right break. I'm gonna go even further this time. So I'm gonna go back 70 or 80 feet. And again, don't worry, you're not gonna hit the ground. Don't worry, you're not gonna miss a golf ball. You know, it's not a full swing. And all we're gonna do is, we're gonna look at the hole, feel the stroke, right? Then we're gonna set up, get up, everything lined up, eyes on the hole, and then just let it react. And so just like you're playing basketball, you're gonna look and react. You're not gonna think about it, you're just gonna look and react. And as you can see, very quickly, I guarantee you, and you've all got to post in the comments, or you can go ahead and email me this, here you go, funds back on me, is you're gonna ask me, Will, I want to do this on the course. If you do this for 20 minutes on a putting green, I guarantee you, you'll lag putt better than you've ever lag putt, and you're gonna say, can you do it on the course? And my response is, of course you can. The one thing you need not to do, though, is get on the course and go, everybody's looking at me. Oh, what if, what if they say something? Well, guess what? Your tension has just gone up. You're gonna tighten up and hit poor putts. So you just gotta get comfortable with eyes on the hole, feel the release, and then on the golf course, you could just quickly glance back at the ball and go. So get that freedom, get that working barrier. I can't wait to hear how it works for you. So let's go ahead and look at the next email. Okay, Daniel Bonilla. Okay, currently a 14, wants to get down, uh, back in 2020 was a 10.1, so definitely want to get down to a single digits, right? Want to get down to that single digits. Four footers make me tight right now. How can I work on four footers? And remember, if I'm tight, I've got tension. If I've got tension, I'm missing putts, right? So let's go ahead and show you a very simple drill. So for me, <clears throat> the key here is, when we're putting to the hole, a lot of the times we're tightening up, and that, and that tension, obviously leads to that quick, tight, short stroke, which some would call the yips. So here's what I want you to do, is put a tee in the ground. I want you to narrow your focus. Here's the tee right here, here's my ball, it's about two feet apart. And all I wanna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna try and hit that tee. Bring another golf ball in. I'm just gonna move it back about one golf ball, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead, try and hit that tee. And what I wanna do is stop thinking about making putts and learn how to get my putter face 
square to my target. So I'm rolling the ball on my target. Now, the beauty is that that last one I missed, right? But it missed right there. That's gonna be made on every single putt because the hole, right, is this wide. You got five and a half inches. So of course that's gonna go in. And then what I want you to do is just move around and just get comfortable because look, even from a foot, if the ball's rolling on target after a foot, it's rolling on target after two feet, it's rolling on target after three feet, you can't do anything after a foot, right? Once the ball's left the face. So this is gonna teach you how to square the face up and get you comfortable. And you hear me talk about it, I, you know, the best putter of all time, Jack Nicklaus, or at least pressure putter, right? He used to stand like this. Obviously, I would not teach that to one of my students but he was able to square his face up the best in that position. You've got players that putt like this. You've got players that putt like this. I really don't care how you hold the putter, how you set up. What I care about is the most important thing is, does your putter face hit the ball on your intended target line? If you do that, then you're gonna go ahead and be able to start hitting this very, very small target. Now, what do you do when you get on the golf course? Well, once you get on the golf course, real simple. When I've got my three foot putt, I'm no longer putting at the hole. I'm thinking to myself right here, I wanna hit it to that tee. So just remember focusing on that tee. Now I pushed that, that would have missed that tee by a mile, but I still made the putt because I've narrowed my focus. So if we wanna get away from tension and tightness over putts, I want you to narrow in on the small focus on the target and then just go ahead and just feel like you're putting to a tee. And if you start to work on this, you're gonna get really good at it. Now, the question for you know, somebody who's a more advanced golfer is gonna go, but Will, what if there's break? Well, of course there's gonna be break. So the tee would be slightly outside the hole. You'll see that this is not in the middle of the hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and hit this putt at that tee, okay? Now, I started on that line of the tee, but it broke into the hole. So narrow your focus, okay? The more you narrow the focus, the more you're gonna be able to breathe, and then you're gonna start focusing on rolling the ball on your target rather than trying to make a putt, which is an end result which puts tension back into us. Cool, okay, so I hope that helps. All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, so an email from John Keating. Whoa, my current handicap is 18. My goal is not necessar necessarily handicap related, but I just feel like that I'm more in control of my approach shots so that I can get more pars and birdie chances when putting. Getting up and down in regulation is my goal this year. The rest will take care of itself. I love it. If you can work on shots inside the scoring zone and just advance the ball and keep it in play, you're gonna be a much better golfer, right? You're gonna shoot a lot lower scores. You'll be down to close to a single digit, uh, John, if you can do that. So let's go ahead and show you, John, how this works. To me, if I'm struggling around the green, it's usually because I'm either A, picking the wrong club, or more likely than not, I'm actually pitching the ball instead of chipping the ball. So let's go ahead and take a look. To me, let's put the ball right here and just imagine that I had this shot. So here, here I'd be putting, right? So this is what a putting stroke looks like. Very simple. I'm gonna go ahead, set up to it, and then putt the ball to the hole. Now to me, what I wanna do when I drop back to here is I don't wanna pitch the golf ball. Now, what does pitching mean to me? It means that you're changing the length of the swing to, uh, use, to basically hit the shot. Whereas a chip shot is you change the club. So take a look, a chip would look like this. It's putting with loft. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go back and through very simply like I'm putting the golf ball, right? Versus pitching would be, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add length to, the, to my backswing. So Fonz, if we put it on me right here, what I wanna show you all now is how to putt with loft. So to me is a putting stroke is a lot more vertical. Right? I want the club more vertical when I'm set up. And what I want to do is I want no intention to try and get this ball in the air. That, that's why I spent money on a nice wedge. It has loft on it. It will go in the air itself. I don't need to scoop. I don't need to decel. I don't need to flip at it. So what I like to see is get super close to the ball and just think that I'm putting. How hard would I hit it with a putter? Okay, about that hard. Now I know that the ball is going to loft onto the green if I putt through it and it's gonna run out to the hole. So the beauty here is, is that it simplifies the game down. You don't have to think anything, but I have loft on my putter. So I'm looking in the closest part of the green here to land it in and then release it to the hole. So when we work this way, John, it's super simple to just go ahead, get close to the ball and feel like you're putting. It's such a simple way to learn how to hit basic chip shots around the green, okay? They come out the same time, same way each time. You hit shots with inside of four feet and then you start making those putts. 
So what I challenge you to do again is when you're on the side of the green, think about putting with loft, okay? Don't even say the word chipping because when you say putting with loft, nobody grabs a putter and does this. But I see all sorts of people do that with a chip shot. So if you start to think that when I'm chipping, I've got this club in my hand, my putter, and I'm just doing this, as long as my weight is slightly forward, so the ball is being struck down, the loft on the club, you see there's three degrees of loft on here, there's 56 on here, 54 on here, it's gonna shoot the ball in the air for me. So think of it this way, simply chipping is now putting with loft, that's what's gonna help you to become a much better, you know, score around, close around to the green. So everybody keep these questions coming in, uh, keep, keep telling me where you wanna get your game to. Again, I'm so grateful for all these responses, I haven't been able to, send responses to everybody yet, but I'll be sending this video out. I'm gonna be sending you some more questions of what you want more of. Uh, it's just super exciting to be back in, you know, fully focused on the scoring method, getting all these results coming in, and uh, yeah, get out there and apply what we just showed you today.